I never actually took a moment to go ahead and look at my vagina or my pum pum or Rihanna. That's how I call her. I call her Rihanna. I've never really taken the time to think about how I would describe my own vulva. My vagina is so basic. English is not my first language, which meant I had to Google some of the parts of the vagina which I didn't know. I looked at it well like a couple of times before but it, it's been a really 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 long time. Like Hello there lovers. I'm overjoyed to be making this video. It's one of those long overdue components on my channel. Now a massive question that people have when it comes to sex or sexual health is am I normal? And nothing speaks to this more than appearance, and especially appearance of genitals, because we rarely get to see them. And when we do, it's usually a particular kind of genital that gets put to the forefront, which leaves a lot of people feeling like, maybe I'm the only one. So I took to my social media, and I looked for any and everybody to submit to me a video describing what their vulva looks like. So yes, I haven't looked at it in like a year. Like I was just so insecure about it. So we're gonna find out what it look like together. I titled this video, What Do Vaginas Look Like? But in actuality, we're describing what vulvas look like. A vagina really speaks to the canal, so that space between the vaginal opening and the cervix itself and nothing else. Vagina actually translates in Latin to sheath, which is a pouch that you store a sword in. But again today, it's all about the vulva and staring the vulva dead in the face, what do you see? And that usually includes a mons pubis, which is a area on top, the pubic area that's covered in hair. Then you have the labia majora, which are the outer lips, which usually again are also covered in pubic hair. Then there's the labia minora, which are inside of the labia majora, and these tend to be hairless. Common misconception is that the majora are bigger and the minora are smaller. For many people, their minora lips actually protrude out of side of the majora and are slightly larger. Then you have the clitoris. The clitoris sits just at the top, kind of at the opening where the mons pubis and the labia majora and minora meet. Everything kind of just comes to this one little beautiful spot that has 8,000 nerve endings. Some people's clitorises are large, some people's are small, some people are, have hanging clitorises. There's no wrong way to have them. Um, and they usually have a hood over top of it, which is like foreskin for a woman. Then you have the urethral opening, and then finally the vaginal opening. And that is the system that we are discussing today. The the reason why this video was so important for me to do and the reason why I made sure to get alternate voices to talk about this is because it was an area of deep ignorance for me. And I did an interview for Huffington Post where regrettably I was talking about vaginal appearance and I was dismissing anybody who considers getting labiaplasty, which is a plastic surgery treatment which changes the face of your vulva. And I was just very ignorant to the fact that some people genuinely have never seen a vulva that looks like theirs. I have a vulva that is, it is the color that you probably have seen if you've seen one before in textbooks. I have the size and the shape and the proportions of what you probably have seen if you ever watched porn before. And for that reason, I'm a beneficiary of getting a lot of representation of my genitals to make me comfortable. So I felt today was important to pass that torch on so that you could have that me too moment that you need because vulvas are not standard. They're like people. They come in all different shapes and sizes and tones. I remember for myself, watching 40 year old virgin years ago and they were talking about nipples and the guy was like well what were they were they big were they braille nipples and the guy was like what's braille nipples he's like braille like the ones that have the bumps so you can read on them and i was like oh my gosh i have braille nipples and it was a funny moment but actually a really healing moment for me to know that there was a common theme with that, that there were other people in the world who had this thing on me that I felt made my breasts unpretty or unattractive. And I never want anyone to feel that way. So here is a collection of incredible individuals who came forward to describe what their vulva looks like in hopes that you will have a me too moment. My vagina is the same color as the rest of my body. Um, but when you like kind of open the labia I think it's called the labia then in the inside it's pink now the contrast that I can relate it to is like you know how you get those Russell Stover boxes of chocolate and you have that one little square piece of chocolate that you think is caramel and you bite into it and it's strawberry oh oh it's black 
It used to be red, like pinkish red. It's really black. It's so small. <laughs> My outer lips are kind of a subtle ruby color where on the inside everything is like a soft, light, pearly pink with undertones of oranges and my inner lips sort of transition into like a vivid violet-y color towards the ends. Okay, so I have a pink <laughs> vagina. My vagina is chocolate. Okay, it's chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. <laughs> it's like really pretty brown except for when we like get like really closer to it then it's it's darker like darker when it gets like in the middle where the clitoris and stuff is it's definitely like really darker going towards the booty you know the anus yeah it's darker around that way my vagina is light brown with a tint of pink um i do have these like outer layers right around my clit and those are actually a lot darker and they're a lot darker than the rest of my vagina. Disclaimer, I am non-binary and while I'm comfortable with talking about my genitals in this way, that doesn't mean that all non-binary people are comfortable with that. My vulva is light pink, uh, darker pink and also like brownish pink. My labia minora is like a bit brownish and pink uh, but, but also brown. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of colors. Guess what? Rihanna is not as fair as this. Rihanna is quite dark. Um, of course, you know, with the pink insides and stuff. But on the outside, Rihanna is not fair at all and is very melanated. And at first, again, like I said, that used to make me uncomfortable. But now it's like, yes, girl, you got it in you. You are Afro-Latina. The color of my vulva is primarily like a bright pink color but then around my labia minora it's kind of dark brown and then like blends out into that pinker shade my vagina is soft pink thin and long one of my inner labia is bigger than the other and i used to think that this was weird because it was asymmetrical it's like a peekaboo vagina you know like it just looks like like that and then um when you get to the doo doo da, it looks like that. My labia minora is quite big, so it's kind of like hanging out, or however you would describe it. Um, and one of the, I guess you call them like inner lips, I don't know. I don't know the terminology really, but one of them is bigger than the other. Also, the hood of my clitoris is quite big, so it's kind of like my clitoris is snuggling into its hood <laughs> one my left side my left lip is actually plumper than my right one i think that's called the labia majorda but yeah it's definitely plumper than the right one but when you open it you know there's a clitoris my clitoris is very small it's not that small but it's small you know the hood be covering it a lot and the labia minora also my left side the small my left side like overlaps the right one. I actually think I have a really pretty vagina. And I keep it nice and shaved and looking good for myself. For myself, okay. Now when I was growing up, I did think that my vagina was like weird because the lips hang. For the first 23 years of my life, I thought I was deformed. One of my labia minora, which are the inner lips, um, sometimes one of them will, especially when I'm aroused or wet, will hang lower than my outer lips. And the only vulvas that I was ever used to seeing were the ones in porn where everything is so perfectly tucked in and there's a nice little slit. And since I didn't look like that, I thought that there was something wrong with me. Think of a pumpernickel sandwich. You have the little slices of um, ham sticking out and it's pink and whatever I'm gonna say is honey glazed turkey because it's sweet and then you got the pumpernickel sandwiches as the outer labia. That's how I want to describe my vagina and I love it. Here's a sketch of my vagina and I have like, it's a homegirl's fat, I mean she's real thick and I have like right here, it's a little extra piece of meat right there but it's nothing that's like you know extra crazy. 
And then at the top there, I have like a little opening, little loop right there. As far as like the shape of it, it's decently s small, I would say. Like there's not a lot of folds. It's just really like my labia minora and then just like the entrance to my vagina with like, of course, a urethra and like your clitoris and everything. Um, I would also say that I have like a pretty generous like clitoral hood. Oh. Swear to you. It's an oyster. I think I probably got lucky in the sense that the first time a guy ever looked at my vulva, um, their reaction was, wow, you have a nice vulva. When I hit puberty and my vulva started developing, I felt like it was quite unusual. It was nothing like what I had seen in either like medical books in school or in porn or like when I looked <laughs> at my friends in the showers. Um, so I felt quite insecure about it for a while. Um, then I listened to this podcast about sex and things and on one episode it was a person who described their vulva and described it kind of like what mine looks like and that made me accept it more and now I love it and <laughs> yeah I gotta say not to toot my own horn or anything I think my vagina is pretty cute yo I want to give a massive big up to everybody who submitted a video in the info box below is the link to some of the people who wanted to share their socials others did not they just wanted to give their voice and lend a really important story to this narrative and thank you for that and that's more than enough if you've watched this video and you didn't have a me too moment or hear one that felt like it was true to you please pick up the torch and run with it go in the comment section and describe what your vulva looks like so another reader can have a me too moment if you did have a me too moment let me know that as well too i think if you've watched this video and you've come this far join the conversation i think it can be a really powerful one that helps a lot of people with self-love which is the ultimate prize in this lifetime lastly before i go i want to talk about this hat that i'm wearing these are called vulva mom hats these i'm only wearing one but i'm selling two one is pink like this and one is brown because when i polled my viewers those were the two shades of vulvas that came up as most popular and it's just a little small limited edition collector piece um, to commemorate the beauty of our very special place of creation and just to show some hometown pride for your shade so if you're interested in purchasing go in the info box below and cop yours i really freaked out the guy i was dating i remember it was like the next morning and we was going to you know do some grown-up things i was like this and i was like <gasps> no like it's too daylight outside and like i freaked out and he was just like I always say confidence is key, but that was just like one of my biggest insecurities. So like, I don't know. I'm kind of excited. Like, I think it's kind of cute now. Like, I'm, 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 I'm confused. Like, I think I've grown to really love and appreciate um, all the diversity that comes within different vulvas, and uh, I love all of them. <laughs> and I think they're extremely beautiful. I get it, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it, girl. Uh, yeah, 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 I get it, girl. Uh, 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 oh. And if you don't know, get it, girl.